Hello everyone. Today we're going to watch a video of a sovereign citizen in the UK uh, who calls himself the Tin Man and refers to the officer as the master. So we're going to watch the master go ahead and arrest the Tin Man. Trust me, it comes with a lot of entertainment in between. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is Common Sense Academy. Go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Trying to get to 10,000 subscriptions. Please, most of my viewers are not subscribed. Give me a subscribe. Also, share this video. It's a great way to support this show for free. This show will always remain free. Now, uh, in this video, I'm not going to do the legal breakdown that I've been doing recently. Everything's going to be mixed up a little bit going forward. Some videos will have it, some videos won't. Depends on time, depends on the video. This video is in the UK. I don't know the law in the UK. I'm an American lawyer here in Pennsylvania. Um, leave me a comment on the sound. I'm experimenting with my new microphone. And before we watch the video, raise your glass, your cup in the air. Cheers with me. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. All right, let's enjoy this video. Is it a law that you put in Yes, it is, yeah. What's the law? Can I just take your phone number and name? Yeah, 30193. Um, your name? My name is Grimshaw. Sure. There, Constable's written on me. Yeah. Okay, right, what, yeah. what law are you enforcing? Well, if you want it here... Well, it's what you told me. Yeah, it is. The Coronavirus Restrictions Regulation 2020. That's not a law. It's you're a regulation. outside your place, and what's your, what's your... What's the reason why you're here? What's the reasonable excuse for being out of your house? I, I don't need an excuse, mate. You do, reasonable excuse. No, I don't. You do. Is the Magna Carta of Null and Void? That is... That's... That's the new law of what's oh, going on now. Oh, that, you don't care about that? That, uh, that yeah. overrules the Magna Carta. Do you don't understand? I don't understand, no. Okay, what's your name, please? Uh, Tim Man. Okay, can I have you got some ID on you, please? I am I obliged to give it you? Yes, you are, yeah. Well, for please. what reason? Well, because we've got a legal reason to ask for your details, because I I've think you're a... committing a crime by being out. A crime? Your address. A crime? Yes. Yeah, which you can be fined for. And summoned to court. Show me where that... if you don't go back to the address, you could be summoned to court. So, I don't arrested. Care. I don't care. You don't care? No, I don't care. Why don't you care? Because I don't care. What does that say? What do you mean, what does that say? That I've got the legislation here. Does that, does that say the Magna Carta is null and void? Does, does it say anything about the Magna Carta? Right, well, I've got the God-given right to right, do what okay. I like. Not, not only are you saying about the God-given right, are you not bothered about the, the fact no. that other people... No, I've listened no. to the science. I think it's all a load of crap. It's, okay. a, it's a load of bogus hoax. Well, I'm telling you now, you need to give me your details. And okay? if you don't... When you get back home, then you may be don't? arrested. Yeah, potentially. For what? I've just told you what for. for you can't be addressed. For failing to give me details, you can't this be arrested is, for that. This That's is not Nazi Germany, mate. This is not Nazi Germany. I just asked you what you were doing. And you didn't have, uh, any, you didn't have reason You're a citizen in uniform. Here. You're just a citizen. I know I am. In uniform. Yeah, and I'm just... Right, so you've got no authority over me. I have. What law? I just told you. That regulation is not a law. Yes, it is. It's been passed well, to be so. law, then? Why does it say regulation? It is, it is law. Why is it it's saying been made law. Then? The current vice regulations How's it been of made 2020. Law? That is law in the government. How's, we have to stop. Yes, how's it, is. it law? How is it law? Because it's been passed by the government. Has it? Do you want to Google it now yeah, on your phone? Google's not even in session. Right, okay. So well, it's I'm at, letting you know best, now. If it's a bill. If you don't go home now, right, I'm going to fine you. Okay? Try it. And if you refuse to do so. Try it. What do you mean, try it? Give me a fine. Fill your paperwork out. Well, you haven't given me ID. I told you I have my name. Okay, what she tells them? What details do you want? I just need your name, your address. Address your email address. Your address is master. Number. Which is fine. What are you doing here then? You said your address is Leicester. Yeah, but what no, are you coming here I for? I said my address is master. Master? What do you mean? Not what? Leicester. What do you mean master? Master. If you want to address me, you can address me as master. I'll call you sir if you want. I'm just asking you nicely, what's your name? Well, I'm just and what's your address? Nicely. My address is master. That's not your address, is it? Do you mean where I live? Yes, please. In, in my body. Where do I sleep? Different places. So, where do I live? What, what's the reason why you're making this extremely difficult? You come here and you're taking pictures of, of, of police cars. You've been here for over an hour because I've been out an hour and I've saw you earlier on and now I've seen you again now. Yeah. So you're breaching the regulations, which you know about. Everybody knows about it. And you're coming here spouting that you can I don't, do what you want. Yeah, well, I That's can't. That's not the facts. I can't. That's not truth. Yeah, I can't. No, it's not. Do you want to take it to court and we'll see? Yeah, absolutely. Right, so give us the details, otherwise you'll end up in custody tonight. So, Tim, man. Okay. What's your date of birth, Tim? Uh, that's private data. Right, okay. Where, where, well, where, this where is, do we get that from? It's quite simple, right? Where, where do we get that from? 
Your date of birth? Yeah. When you were born? Where do I get that from? So you don't know that? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I was, I'm probably one day old. Right, okay. Get in the car, please. What? Get in the car. What for? Get in the car so I can get your details. Right. I'm not getting I'm in the car. You, I'll give you one more time now. If you're not going to give me your details... Are you a citizen in uniform enforcing the law? Yes. Right, what law? I just says, told you what it is. It says it's a regulation. It doesn't That's say it's a law. law. Yes, no, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It doesn't overrule right, the Magna okay, Carta. So, so what do you know? What Sorry? do you know then? How do you know it better than me? I'm not going to argue anymore. I want so you I suggest... to know it. If you're enforcing it, you need to know it. I've just told you what the enforcement is. It's I've just told you. You're a citizen in uniform. You're a citizen in uniform. You've yep. you're you're you you got no, no authority more than me. I've got no authority more than you. Yeah. Right. Have you? Listen, do you want to go to court? Do you want to get locked up tonight? I don't want either. You don't want either. So no. why don't you tell me your details and go home then? I don't have to. How many, how many more warnings do you want? What? How many more warnings would you like? Warnings? Yeah. Why, why have you given me a warning? Yeah, I've told you. Go home, you shouldn't be out. You haven't got a reasonable Says excuse you. to be there. I've just explained what it is. What? So Boris Johnson's got no authority over me? Well, it's not Boris Johnson. It's been passed through government. Nah. It's not just him, is it? Government's not in session. And it doesn't overrule the Magna Carta. Right. OK, so... This is your last warning, otherwise you're going in here and you're going to custody, you're going to get arrested. I'm not giving a reasonable excuse, you're not giving me your details, that's another arrestable offence. So tell me your I'm not, details. I'm not lawfully obliged to give you details unless I've broke the law. And you have. I have. That's a regulation. That's a policy of government. Right, okay. That's not even your job to enforce policy of government. So, one more time then. What's your name, please? What's your date of birth? What's your address? Where do we get my uh, date of birth from? What do you mean, where do you get your date of birth from? Where's you, where you, you, where you want me you to subscribe ID from? Or anything like that? I have got ID. Okay, well, where's that? Then? Well, if you start birth, taking a date of birth off it, you'll be committing fraud. No, I won't be. Uh, yes, you will be. I'm asking you details. I'm... Right, okay. I suspect you commit an offence, so therefore... What offence? I haven't got offence. Here you are. Right, okay, get in a car then. Come on, get in the car. Get down. Am I lawfully obliged to get in the car? Well, I'll put you under arrest if you want instead. Under arrest so for what? So it's up to you. Under arrest for what? I've just told you what the offences are. I don't have any time to tell me again. Okay, fine, sit down. No, I have to sit down. Sit down. No, sit, down. sit 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 down. That means I don't have to speak to you. Okay. Just let you know, you are being recorded, and this will be yeah, on, right, yeah. so on YouTube later. So are you. So are you. Okay, just let you know, okay? Uh, obviously, you've, you've failed to comply with an instruction, okay? Yours? Yeah. I couldn't From give a, a shit, mate. I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit. The Health Protection You're not a constable. Restrictions Act. Regulations. What a load of shit. You're what a load of shit. To comply with my instructions for you to go home. You've okay? got no authority to give me You've any instructions. You've got no reasonable excuse to be here. Okay? You've got no reasonable excuse to give me. I don't here. need an excuse. You're failing to give details. I don't need an excuse. You shouldn't be here in part of lockdown, okay? At this moment. Uh, 18, 19. Okay. You're under arrest, okay? Okay. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You don't mention one question so later on in court, and if you do say, maybe give an evidence. Because you've contributed a direction to fail to comply with instruction to go home during the coronavirus outbreak. Okay? Are, you, are you my master? <sighs> Bravo, Romeo, 312. Tips for future police officers. If somebody asks you if you are their master, uh, why not just say yes? <laughs> Especially when it comes in the context of this guy who's trying to goof you off. Just tell him yes. What's he going to say then? I don't know. Maybe it's going to feed into his conspiracy a little more, but heck, you might as well have a little bit of fun. So this guy, uh, th this was a, a sovereign citizen walking around, obviously uh, breaking the COVID-19 lockdown order, likely didn't have any uh, personal protection on either a mask, anything or le like that. You know, if the police tell you to go home, just go home. But no, this guy wanted to make a scene of it. So, uh, you know, one of the funny things here, well, first, let's talk about the order itself. Uh, these orders, 
if they're passed by a mayor, a governor, uh, or the president, et cetera, et cetera, uh, it could be an executive order. Most of them have been written into law or else they are made law by the power of the executive, such as a mayor, a governor, a president. Those are the executive bodies. There's or Their orders do have the force of law. The funny thing here, this guy had a little card that had the law written down on it. And he says, oh, that's a policy. Listen, a policy, a regulation, an ordinance, a policy in and of itself is not a law. But when the policy is then enshrined into law, which happens all the time, then it is a law. However, I can tell you in the United States, a law passed by the legislature, law created by a judge, case law, common law, an ordinance, a statute, a regulation, they're all laws. They're all laws. Okay? So get it through your head, sovereign citizen. All you need is something passed by a, the proper uh, legislative body or the proper executive body, okay, it's all, it's all law. All right, so Cap, Cop has a card with the law on it. The sovereign citizen says, starts asking him, let me see, da 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 and I thought it was funny when the cop said, Google it, why not Google it? I, we live in a crazy world now where you can just Google it. it it's too funny. Um, this sovereign citizen says his name is Tin Man. Later on in the conversation, the officer calls him Tin. <laughs> I just, that cracked me up a little bit. Uh, he said, I'm not obliged to give it to you. What obliges me to give you my ID? Because the officer is asking him for his ID. Well, if you're breaking a law, then the officer gener generally in the United States, if you're breaking the law, the police have reasonable suspicion they can ask for ID. Uh, sometimes the standard's even lower if you're in a stop and ID state, but if you're suspected of breaking a law in certain states, it's then an additional law that you provide your ID, and if you don't provide your ID, you're breaking another law. Something like that may exist uh, in this municipality in the UK. So uh, he likely, he's probably got to show his ID at that point. I don't know UK law, but almost certainly. He says, I'm not committing a crime. Yeah, regulation is a crime. You know, sovereign citizens live in this world where uh, it's not a crime unless somebody is hurt or something is stolen. That's not the real world. There are plenty of crimes that don't involve somebody losing property or someone being physically harmed. For instance, drug crimes, sometimes in the United States, gambling, things like that. We used to call them uh, sin laws, right? These laws that regulate our sins. Well, you may not like them, and a libertarian may be opposed to them, but they're still laws. They're constitutional. This is going to be true in every country in the world. Uh, he, he quotes the Magna Carta. He says, this is the, ma the is the, this, and he quotes it twice. He says later on, does this override the Magna Carta? Uh, just to be clear, the Magna Carta, I believe it was the 13th century King John, bad King John up in England. Uh, and, you know, the Magna Carta was an agreement that, that uh, was arrived at by both the barons, the, the lords, of the land of England and the king at the time, who was King John, who's actually a descendant of William the Conqueror. Anyway, so they come to this agreement, they draft it, it's called the Magna Carta. The Magna Carta is seen as the first document, the originating document for a constitution, or at least a written constitution in history, in the history of the world. Um, the funny thing about the Magna Carta is that neither parties followed it. King John didn't follow it. The barons didn't follow it. They fought another war after the Magna Carta, and the Magna Carta was annulled by the Pope at the time, Pope Innocent III, who, you know, hold, held some sway in the European medieval world. So the Magna Carta didn't even apply back then. What makes you think it applies now, sir? It no longer applies, all right? He says to this officer, you're just a citizen with a badge. That's exactly what police officers are, citizens with a badge. Citizens that have been given the power by the government uh, to enforce the laws. It's exactly what they are. He says, again, he says, address me as master. I just started addressing him as master, but he came up with Tin Man, which was even more exciting. Uh, there's a lot here. There's a lot here, guys. This is fun. Um, he says, 
where do I sleep? I sleep somewhere else every night. Where do I live? I live in my body. Well, not, neither of those are your address. If you don't have an address, just tell them you're homeless. Okay? Uh, if you're homeless, you're homeless. Uh, Soft Sid says, do you want to take it to court? <laughs> the cop says, absolutely. I kind of like this cop. Um, he, get, he called him the Tin Man. Then later on in the transaction, he says, do you want to go to court tonight? Do you want to go to jail? He says, no, 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 I don't want to. Well, a few minutes ago, you were being a tough guy saying you want to go to court. Uh, wouldn't give his birth date. He says it's a private date. He could be one years old. However old you could be, you could not be one years old. And that's just science. Because if you were one years old, okay, you would be a baby about this big. You're not one years old, sir. Uh, he goes into the policy stuff. The Paul, are you my master? And and again, he he lets off with does it override the Magna Carta? It's interesting. Every I saw some videos about sovereign citizens in Russia who claim the Soviet Union is still in effect. You know, the sovereign citizens of the United States they go back to the Declaration of Independence, which is well was never actually law. Okay. Um, and they go to the Articles of Confederation, which is no longer law, it was kind of the founding document. Like the, Ma but each country has its own little flavor based on their history, right? Magna Carta is uh, an originating document for England. Uh, the Articles of Confederation, Declaration of Independence for the United States. I don't know what the document is that created the Soviet Union, but the Russian sovereign citizens, that's got to be hilarious in and of it itself. So I didn't do my legal analysis here because this is British law. I'm going to mix up my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it looked like the Tin Man was going to jail. Um, if you like my video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so please subscribe. Also, share this video. It's a great free way to support this show. This show will always remain free. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment on the sound. I'm still experimenting with it. Let me know what's good or bad about it. Have a great day. Common Sense Academy out.